welcome to another video from the Bull Scrambler. I'm up on uh, Heather Terrace, as you can see. Check out that view. And today, I'm going to go up the groove on the left hand side of the gully. As you can see, it's nice and wet. Picked a good day. Nice slippery rocks. And uh, I think I'm going to film the whole way up uh, and see what the footage comes out like. So it should be interesting. If you've never come up this route before, once you come up on the Heather Terrace, it's the second gully on the right if you're coming up on the A5. And if you have a look, it's very distinctive and it's got lots of rocks and boulders at the bottom of the gully and none of the other gullies have this amount of boulders in the bottom. It's very distinctive for this side of the mountain. And if you look up the gully, you can see you've got a center gully and there's actually a line slightly to the left, which I call the groove. And uh, that's a grade one plus scramble. I think the gully itself is a grade two, maybe a two minus. Um, so obviously with it being wet today, I'm just going to go up the groove on the left hand side literally straight up on the left there's a, a heather ledge a little bit further up where there's a flat section maybe i'll take a few photographs up there and then uh, film the rest of the rest of the route up to the top Wow, look at all this moss on there. Nice and slippery. Wow, I really picked a good day today. Look at the moss in the gully. So you can see there's a distinctive line to the left hand side. But it is, it is slippery. It is today. Wow. This is fun. I'm gonna take it nice and slow. rock slippery rock there's some fairly decent footholds in there just Wow, making fast progress. Check out the gully on the right hand side in there.
Oh, the sunshine. It's starting to dry out. Just a little bit. Plenty of handholds. That's a, lots of places to wedge in a boot. Just a little bit slippery. Oh wow! Nice. Climbing up ice. Hmm. Not sure if I want to go on that side. There we go. Nice solid grip. Almost level with the main gully now. Look at that steep drop. Now, a little tip. little tip for anybody that comes up here you don't want to go into the gully if you have a look it's tempting to go in the gully you really don't want to do that that's too steep to climb if you look to your left quartz rock white rock if you climb up here it is slippery there's a heather ledge up the top and you can bypass the steep sections in the gully that's a good way to remember when you reach this point you want to look to the left look for a quartz white rock you can't miss it it's huge and you need to climb up that to get onto the ledge up the top you don't want to go in the gully trust me check it out
Now I'm up. Just. It was horrible. Maybe it'd be easier to climb up there on a dry day rather than on the exposed edge. Yeah, that was pretty horrible in the wet. Should be able to see now. Distinctive heather section, almost like a plateau. That's where we came up. Just on the side of that gully. Definitely don't want to stay in the gully because there's a steep section there, which is pretty nasty. There's a nice heather section there with almost a distinctive path on the left hand side. If you see where the goats are, that's where we turn right, get to the top of this heather section and turn right back into the gully. Morning. There you go, completely bypassed that steep section on that heather ledge all around there. Completely bypassed that rather horrible looking mossy section in there. Look at it. Apparently that's a grade two. That looks quite steep and wet. That, 
that feels drier it's drying out Piece of cake. Nearly done. It's the hardest part done. Check out that view. It was wet. It was slippery. Not the best day. But done.
on this section. It's a big flat rock. Best to take a line to the right, up and round. It's a lot easier than trying to climb that. Although it is doable. There you go, totally bypassed it. Piece of cake. And we've got dry rock. It's not slippery, look. Balancing rock, the end of the route. as I did. It was wet, it was slimy, it was slippery. Probably shouldn't have done that on a wet day. But it's done and it was fantastic, it was very enjoyable. A bit crazy. Truvan is that way, 15 minutes, yeah maybe 20 minutes and I'll be on the summit. Check it out. Check out the view. Love it when you're the first one on the summit and there's nobody else up here. Check that out. Fantastic. What a beautiful day. Uh -huh.